Welcome back everyone. As you can see it's uh, snowing outside, early spring. You never know what kind of weather you're going to get. But uh, today it's uh, snowing so we can't spend any time outside. So I've got a quick project for in the shop. So earlier this spring I made myself a uh, walking stick out of an old part of a dead tree that had fallen down. And uh, we went for a walk this morning and Mrs. From the Woods said that she would like one too. So today's project is uh, another walking stick for Mrs. From the Woods. Glad you can make it. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. So with a bit of research on the internet, came up with uh, what I thought was basic dimensions for a half decent walking stick. So what I did for myself was I measured to uh, the center of my elbow when it is resting comfortably at my side and at a 90 degrees. And you would measure the distance from the floor to the center of your elbow and that would be approximately the center of the handle. This handle is about six to seven inches long. You can make it whatever you like. And then on top of that, I added another six inches so when you're walking around, you can use it as a bit of a rest. So the overall dimensions would be from the ground to center of your elbow, plus half of the size of handle area that you wanted, plus six inches, plus or minus, gives you a total length of your walking stick. So uh, Mrs. From the Woods has different measurements than I do, of course. She's a bit uh, shorter than I am. I'm 6'4", so mine worked out to be about oh, 48 inches roughly to the center of the handle, and hers is going to be about 45. So we'll use those measurements and uh, we'll start constructing the walking stick. So I picked out uh, some branches. Actually, they're not branches. They are the tops of uh, fallen trees and uh, they have been sitting in the forest for quite a while so they're fully dried out and uh, right now I kind of picked them up and cut them down to about oh just a little over six and a half feet uh, that's probably more than enough we'll have to trim some of the bottoms and the tops of course knock off the little branches but uh, you can pick anything you want this is a branch that I found was a little bit interesting you could make that the top of your walking stick and then put your handle just below that but most of these are just spruce trees that have fallen in the forest and uh, I think the best candidate for misses from the woods is going to be the third from the right that one there it is straight it uh, has fully dried out we'll have to knock the bark off sand it down and then transfer our measurements to that stick used to get the bark off was just a paint scraper you could probably use something else too a wire brush or uh, depending on how hard the bark is attached to the tree uh, but this was relatively easy to come off with a paint scraper and uh, now we're going to start uh, sanding it down to get to the fresh wood so you can see why these trees don't survive I guess first of all there are small trees in and amongst the big trees uh, starving for light for one probably a little bit weaker than most and then they become infested with bugs and as I took some of the bark off uh, you could see what was left behind by the bug infestation but I did cut the top of the branch off and I could count at least 15 rings and then they disappeared so I'm guessing this tree is somewhere between 15 and 20 years old but um, fortunately we can cut most of that off it's a little thick at the bottom for my liking it would be nice to be around one inches that way it's uh, not so big on the bottom So we've got the branch or the top of the tree sanded. Now we're going to start making our markings. So Mrs. From the Woods worked out to be 45 inches to the center of her arm here, plus half of the handle length, which we've determined to be about six inches, plus the six inches at the top, if that's what you want. So uh, total length of 54 inches will make it a bit longer so we can do a final trim after we do a, a fitting with Mrs. From the Woods and uh, let's make those markings. 
So as I was sanding, I kind of determined that uh, there was way too much uh, wormwood here and uh, didn't think that would look nice. And fortunately, the pole is long enough that I can cut it first at 64 inches here, and then we'll measure from the other end and uh, cut it down to about 54 inches plus or minus. So the bottom of the walking stick ends up to be just over an inch in uh, diameter. Uh, a little bit thick, but uh, we can sand that down to a bit more of a taper. And uh, the top ended up being about an inch and a quarter. So now we'll mark where the handle has to go. So we've marked the handle location, which is uh, from 42 to 48, which is uh, missing from the woods measurement of 45 less half the handle and plus half the handle. That gets you a measurement from 42 to 48. So I tapered uh, the bottom to just under half an inch. Uh, just gives it a little bit more of a uh, proper look for a walking stick. And now we'll work on the handle location. So what I did on my walking stick was I made a little recess to accept the paracord handle and I'm going to do the same for Mrs. from the woods. It's just a little bit too big, a little bit uncomfortable to hold. Uh, it feels a little bit big in the hand, so we'll recess the wood to accept the paracord. Well, we've uh, recessed the handle for the paracord on the walking stick. If you don't uh, want to do this part of the project, you can just apply the paracord right to the walking stick without recessing it in. The paracord gets really tight and I don't think it would slip. So uh, we're on to the next step. We're going to do a final sand and we're going to bevel the top corner or the top of the stick just to give it a little bit of panache and uh, then we'll start finishing it. Well, we've got the staff finished sanded. So the last step is to cut a 10 degree bevel on the top of the staff just to give it a little bit more of a finished look. And uh, then we'll stain it. The stain we'll be using today is a beauty tone, water-based, 100% acrylic uh, stain. We use this on our deck and uh, some other projects around the property and I used it on my walking stick But uh, you really don't have to do anything to it at all if you like the clear look or you can stain it whatever color you like Whatever you prefer, but uh, we're going to stain it up quickly and put some uh, clear coat on it afterwards We use an exterior water base uh, Finish for uh, the walking sticks just to give it a little bit more durability outside So the walking stick has uh, four coats of finish on it. I used a, a water-based polyurethane, a satin finish. Uh, dries really quick. So I put three coats on and then I uh, burned in Mrs. From the Woods initials into the handle. And then I gave it a final coat to seal it in. And now we're ready to put the grip on with the paracord and Mrs. From the Woods has opted for black. So that's the next step to finish off the walking stick. Okay, well we're ready to uh, put the grip on to the walking stick and uh, there are lots and lots of videos on YouTube on how to uh, do a decorative weave or um, all kinds of different ways to decorate your handle. But uh, for today we're just going to do uh, two simple knots, one being the clove hitch and one being the half hitch. And uh, we're going to be using 532nd uh, thickness 
the paracord in black to do this. So we'll start with a clove hitch and then we'll finish off with a whole bunch of half hitches which will give us the spiral effect on our grip. Okay, well we're going to start with uh, a little bit of an extra piece here before we put our clove hitch on. But the clove hitch is essentially you go over and bring it to the right side of this piece and you loop it over and under and then this slides under here and then you tighten it up. We're going to take a little bit longer and then we'll leave a little bit running this way but that's essentially a clove hitch. We push it as far as we can down and we cinch it up and then this will be our tag that we're going to get covered that will get covered with uh, the half hitches. All right, well, I put a couple of the half hitches on and you can already see the spiral starting, but a simple half hitch is you grab it and you twist it counterclockwise with the length underneath. You pull it over, slide it down, and cinch it tight. And these knots get tighter and tighter as you get going and you just keep on manipulating them nice and tight and again counterclockwise with the length underneath you loop it over the end of the, the walking stick and you cinch it tight and if you carry on then this spiral detail works its all way all the way to the top. Okay, well we're almost at the end of the grip, but we don't want this to be showing, so we're going to cut it off right about here. Now I just happen to have some side cutters, but you can use a knife or a pair of scissors, and we're just going to snip that off, and then we'll carry on with our half hitches, making sure to go over top of this that it doesn't pop out and that'll disappear and you'll never see that end again and it'll never come undone. So now we're almost at the end here. We've maybe got two or three more wraps and uh, we'll, we'll show you what needs to be done to finish off the wrap. Okay, well we've come to the end of our grip and now we have to lock this in place and uh, what you do is you cut this reasonably close within about a eighth of an inch. Again, a little scissor. And in order to lock it in place, you just use a lighter to melt the end. And you have the end nicely locked in place and that'll never come apart. So we've ended up with about a five inch grip with about a six inch opening. So about a half inch either way. And it'll fit your hand nicely. It's spiraled around with all the half hitches and uh, we finished it off. All right, well that's the grip. And as you can see, the burnt end that locked the uh, paracord in place uh, kind of disappears in the black and uh, nice tight half hitches to uh, cover up the grip portion and I believe that is the conclusion of this walking stick. So from uh, two dead trees in the forest we've got two really neat unique walking sticks with uh, paracord handles and uh, we're going to go outside and give them a try. All right, well, that concludes today's video. Uh, we had a fun time making a walking stick for uh, Mrs. From the Woods. 
nice addition to our hiking gear and uh, hopefully we get a lot of use out of it but uh, we hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, if you did we'd love it if you would subscribe like and share and uh, join us again for another video coming soon thanks for watching